get the latest local and international stories on the go. And there's our social media platforms for news from around the world. Watch the news live and play videos that matter to you. You can also check the eyewitness section to report events around you. Just click on the eyewitness icon and follow the instructions to upload your content. Channels 24 app, the news at your fingertips. Hello and welcome to Ecoad Africa, the environment program bringing you stories from all over Africa and Europe. I'm Neota Igbe and with me is my colleague, join me to welcome Sharon in Nairobi. Hello NT and hello to all of you out there. My name is Sharon Momanyi and I'm your new host. We're glad you're joining us today. This is what is coming up on the show today. We present an e-car developed by students in Germany. We look at environmentally friendly stoves in Ghana. And we explain why snakes need special protection in Zimbabwe. We start the show in Uganda. Like many parts of Africa, access to clean drinking water is a luxury in Uganda, especially in the rural areas. A social business impact water wants to change that. They are selling water filters in schools in Kenya, Nigeria, and Uganda, places where the public water system doesn't always work as it should. For three weeks, Navakuza Usta has had to chop up more wood than usual. She's a kitchen helper at St. Paul's Catholic Seminary in Fort Portal in western Uganda. She needs a lot of firewood to boil 1,500 liters of drinking water every day. We boil the water for different purposes, to cook and to drink. I don't know how much wood we need to burn for each thing, but I know we need a lot of wood. More than 200 novitiates live and study in the seminary along with teachers and staff, and they all need drinking water. But tests showed the facility's water purification system isn't working properly. I'm just trying to imagine. It is not a good water for drinking. It's not healthy at all. We have a second sample with us here. It has a few impurities, as you can see it. It is not also recommended for drinking. And we have again the third sample from the same tank, which we would consider quite clean. But still, it is not recommended for drinking. The problem is that the polyfilters for the water purification system are clogged up. Technician Sanyu Piazzi has to replace them. He shows health officer Vincent Kanamata how the system has to be serviced. In the future, Vincent will have to perform regular maintenance. This is how the polyfilter looks after half a year of use. The system is used so much that a clean new filter will have to be inserted every other month. <clears throat> A new UV lamp is also needed. It kills bacteria in the water. A system like this costs four and a half million Ugandan shillings, about 1,200 U.S. dollars. Linda Nagiwan works in sales. St. Paul National Seminary is quite a unique school because of uh, their water consumption is a little too high, so that means they're overusing the polyfilters, and that also means that they have to um, replace them quite regularly than the other schools that run a system one, for one hour in a day. Um, we have discovered that uh, St. Paul National Seminary runs the system for over four hours in a day, and it overworks the polyfilters. This is Kampala, the capital of Uganda, population one and a half million. 
A number of companies here now offer water purification systems. By the end of 2018, Lyndon Nguyen's firm plans to quadruple the number of school children it provides with drinking water to 2.8 million. We believe uh, with the support from the church, the government and different organizations, we can reach this figure. Purifying tap or well water with one of these systems is not only a lot cheaper than boiling it, it's also better for the environment. I see the impact as being twofold. First, by improving air quality, especially in schools, and secondly, in reducing the effects of global warming. That for each school that has one of our systems, we see that 70 tons of carbon dioxide is not emitted to, into the atmosphere. Back in the small town of Fort Portal in western Uganda, Impact Water has contracts with more than 300 schools. Since the beginning of the year, one of them is Nyakasura School, with over a thousand students. Uh, there is a very big difference because last year's water wasn't good. It had germs and it could cause some sickness, but this time the water is free of germs and it's healthy for our body. And in the nearby seminary as well, there's now clean drinking water from the purification system for the midday meal. For the region, the seminarians use an immense amount, 1,500 liters a day. In the future, they'll just have to change the filter more often. It is believed that cars, trains and planes are responsible for one-fifth of global energy-related CO2 emissions. The car industry is one of the key players to halting climate change, but it is far from doing that. The industry is still growing and emissions are projected to double by 2050.